Hello, first grade. It's Miss Lucy. I hope you all are having fun with all of your writing lessons. Um, I know that we have kind of um, been doing a lot of different lessons, and I know I hear from your teachers that you're all just anxious to sit and write. And I promise you, all of these lessons that we're doing are leading up to the story you're going to write. So just a probably another week, and then we're going to get in the big, juicy part of our story. Very exciting. So today, boys and girls, we are going to talk about adjectives. What's an adjective? That's a big word, isn't it? Have you ever heard of an adjective before? So we are going to learn how we can use adjectives to help make our writing more interesting. So boys and girls, an adjective is a describing word. So if you look at the monkey, he's happy. We're describing how he's feeling. If you look at the middle one with the hot cocoa, we know that hot cocoa is hot, right? So we're saying how it feels. Um, then we have the plant and it says big. So that's describing how the plant looks. So how does using an adjective help with my writing? Well, that is a very good question. We're going to use adjectives to help add details or more information about our stories. So we're going to read a book. It's called If You Were an Adjective, and it'll tell us a little more about adjectives. So if you were an adjective, if you look over here by the side, I'm not sure if you can see my um, pointer, but it says adjective. So a word that describes or modifies, which means adds to or changes, a noun or a pronoun? Well, what is a noun? What is a pronoun? So a noun, boys and girls, we'll talk about it in this story, but it also is, um, I think some of you already know, it's a person, place, or thing. And a pronoun is kind of like the same thing, but we use words like he, she, it, um, those are pronouns. All right, let's read. If you were an adjective, you would be colorful, brilliant, dazzling, feathery, many-legged, slimy. So those are all words that could describe you or describe something. If you were an adjective, you would work side by side with nouns. A noun names a person, place, or thing. As an adjective, you would be busy describing nouns. An elephant is a noun. So let's pause for a second. We see the elephant. The elephant is our noun. How could we describe this elephant? What are some words that you could put with this elephant? Is he tall? Could that describe him? Hmm, let's read and find out some more. If you were an adjective, you would tell us about the elephant. The gray elephant is gigantic and wet. The sparkling water cools down the hot elephant. Oh my goodness. This one is so full of adjectives. Gray elephant. The elephant is gigantic and wet, right? Wet from the water. The sparkling water cools down the hot elephant. All of those words are used to describe the elephant and the water. If you were an adjective, you would tell us how a person, place, or thing looks. 
the slender swimmer snaps a photo of the enormous whale in the deep blue water. So boys and girls, if you don't know what slender means, it means skinny or thin, smaller. All right, the enormous, right? The, a whale is enormous, very, very big. Deep means way, way down. Right, that's a way to describe the water. And it's blue. If you were an adjective, you would describe things. The tiny kittens are fluffy. The little piglets are pudgy and pink. Boys and girls, if you are at home, I'd like you to pause for a minute and talk to someone. And if you are at school, I'd like you to turn and talk for a minute and tell your partner, what words are describing the kittens? Then, what words are describing the piglets? So, let's take a look here. So, the tiny kittens are fluffy. Our noun are the kittens. The kittens are tiny. If you said tiny, good job, that's a describing word. If you said fluffy, it's telling what they look like, how they feel. Oops, then if you look at the piglets, the little piglets are pudgy and pink. So words that are telling us about the pigs, they're little, they're pudgy, and they're pink. Do you know what pudgy means? Pudgy means a little fat. All right, so if you said those words, great job! You're getting what an adjective is. The colorful peacock's tail is big and bright. If you were an adjective, you would describe how something sounds. The howler monkey is loud! The boa's movement is silent. Quiet mouse watches and waits. He better watch and wait, right? That, that snake will eat him right up. If you were an adjective, you would describe how something feels. The alligator is rigid and bumpy. Oh, so his back, rigid, means rough, right? It's not smooth, so it's got bumps on it. So boys and girls, I'm sensing a pattern here. I'm not sure if you are, but it seems to me like they're using their five senses. I think we did a lesson about that a little while ago, right? Our five senses, seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touching. If you were an adjective, you would describe how something behaves, the fearless, Plover is careful when it picks at the alligator's teeth. Oh my, I just realized. Boys and girls, I have read this book a bunch of times, just like our reading strategy, right? You read more to see more. I have never really paid attention to the details of this picture. And look at this, the bird is in the alligator's mouth. Dangerous. If you were an adjective, you might be a proper adjective. A proper adjective describes a specific object and is always capitalized. So in winter, the Arctic fox's coat turns white to blend in with the snow of the Alaskan tundra. So boys and girls, we're not going to focus too much on that, but that is another way to use an adjective, but that's a proper, and they call it proper because it used a capital letter. If you were an adjective, you could compare things. You would change your end to show how things are different. You would be a comparative adjective if you compared two things. The turtle is small, the tree frog is smaller. Ah, you would be a superlative adjective if you compared three things. 
The lion is fast. The antelope is faster. The swift is the fastest of the three. You could be bad, worse, worse, or good, better, best if you were an adjective. All right, friends, what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to write our own adjectives, of course. All right, again, what is an adjective? An adjective is a describing word. And what do we describe? We describe a noun, which is a person, place, or thing. All right, so let's take a um, pumpkin here and let's think about what words we can use to describe a pumpkin. So if we look at this page, we have different areas that we can look at. So we can describe by color how it feels, what size it is, the shape, and what it looks like. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause right here and I want you to turn and talk to a friend and come up with two adjectives for one of these sections. So don't do two in the same section. I want you to pick two different sections. All right, so go ahead and talk to your partner. All right, friends. So I'm gonna think out loud. Um, if you're in class, your teacher can stop and you can discuss the different words that you came up with. I am going to write about um, one word for each one. So a pumpkin, right? Our pumpkin, pumpkins can be all different sizes, right? But my favorite size are tiny pumpkins. So I'm gonna use the word tiny to describe my pumpkin. And then for color, I'm gonna use the adjective orange. Most pumpkins are orange, right? But guess what? There's white ones too. All right, shape. Well, I like the word round. So I'm gonna use the word round. And if I touch a pumpkin, yeah. Aiden, if we touch a pumpkin, uh, well, how does it feel? It feels like, mm. Is it hard, smooth, soft? It is squishy. It's smooth. Oh, okay. It can be smooth. Right? It can also can it also be bumpy? Yeah. Yeah, bumpy, right? Okay, we got two for that one. Thanks for your help there. All right, and looks. How does a pumpkin look? Uh, well, I think my pumpkin's gonna look Scary. Woo. All right, so boys and girls, see it's as easy as that to look at something and then make some descriptive words. Remember using your um, five senses, right? Your touch, smell, taste, feeling. We already said that smelling, hearing. All right, now let's look at this page. So everybody should have a my adjective page. And we know that my um, story, I've been talking about it, and Mrs. Wishman's been talking about it, is about Disney World. So I want to come up with some words about Disney World 
that are describing words or adjectives so that I can use in my story. So I've included a few pictures here. Um, here's one, here's a ride, here are some characters. Um, here's another ride. Oh, one of my most favorite rides, Splash Mountain. So I want to think of Disney World, which is an amusement park. And the first thing that comes to my mind is that Disney is fun. That's a great way to describe it, right? It's also loud, um, let's see, colorful, um, fast, right? Some of the rides are fast. You have one? Uh, the ride, the ride, sometimes the ride goes so fast. They do, and then they get a little scary, don't they? Um, oh, you know what? Shy is another word I think about to describe Aiden when he goes to Disney World because sometimes he gets shy when he sees the characters. Um, oh, what do you do on a scary ride? Ah, we scream, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and some of those rides look like Splash Mountain. Look at you're up really high, right? And then you can get really wet. Yeah, wet. Because look at all that water. Look at all that water. Okay. And then, but it's also, we can get excited, right? Because Disney World's very exciting. I get sad when I have to go because I love Disney World so much. I get surprised. I get surprised when I see Disney World. Yeah, or the, um, I get surprised when um, I see the parades yeah. and some of all the big, big um, floats with the characters on it. Oh, I just mm -hmm. love it. Um, sometimes some of the shows are funny. Um, some of the rides can be slow, right? Like the Toy Story ride. Although I haven't been on this new Toy Story ride. It looks like a roller coaster. Yeah. That looks very exciting. I also know that Disney World is in Florida and it can be really hot. I also know that Disney World makes me tired. Yeah, buddy. You got something? Uh, uh. I see all the characters, Pluto, Donald, Mickey, and Minnie, and Goofy. So those characters make you really happy, don't they? Because you really love yeah. them. They're your friends. Um, so boys and girls, and Disney World is also very big, right? There's lots to do there. All right, so this is how I made my adjective list. I just talked out loud or thought to myself, some of the things about Disney World. All right, so now it's your turn. So give it a try. You are going to look at your topic. What is your topic that you chose? Um, what are you writing about for your personal narrative? Don't just make up something. You've already picked a topic and you're working and making ideas for that topic because soon we're going to be writing a whole book about it. So give it a try. Think of what happens in your, what's going to happen in your story and come up with some of your own adjectives. All right, boys and girls, have fun. Have fun.